New details now are shedding light on what happened when two young brothers from West Haven got into a hot car this summer. One of them died, and just this week, police arrested their parents. Channel 3 New Haven Bureau Chief Matt McFarland is live with the Mobile Newsroom in West Haven now with a look at this report. Matt? Well, Denise, Dusan Jenkins and LaToya Walters turned themselves into police earlier this week. And according to the arrest warrant, police say Jenkins fell asleep. That allowed the boys to get out of the apartment and into the hot car. And his wife, she's also facing charges for allegedly lying to police and leaving the two boys home alone earlier that day when she went to work. Hi, it's Matt McFarlane with Channel 3. Oh, no, we won't be speaking to you. Desan Jenkins and LaToya Walters didn't want to speak with us when we stopped by their West Haven apartment the night the two got arrested. Desan is charged with criminally negligent homicide after the couple's two young sons, four-year-old Desan and two-year-old Davion, were found inside their car on an 80-degree day back in July. I think it's crazy. I need to see him when you come outside a lot. Desan told police he fell asleep after working an overnight shift and that he left the three locks on their apartment door and the car unlocked. According to the arrest warrant, surveillance cameras capture the two little boys leaving the apartment at 1212. At 1214, four-year-old Desan opens the car door and the two continue to play inside and outside. At 1259, surveillance footage captures movement in the backseat of Desan's vehicle. This is the last movement captured inside the vehicle by the surveillance camera. At 242, Desan exits the apartment looking for the children. At 2.48, he's on his cell phone. At 2.49, Dasan looks through the rear passenger window on the driver's side and immediately opens this door, removing the kids from the car. According to the arrest warrant, when detectives checked the inside of Dasan's car, quote, the real-time temperature readings, utilizing a thermal imager provided by the fire department in various parts of the car, range from 134 to 154 degrees. It turns out people drove up and down the street, even passing and stopping near the car, but no one saw the two little boys. Four-year-old Dasan, whose internal body temperature was more than 108 degrees, died at the hospital. His two-year-old brother, Davion, survived. Everywhere you go, you got to make sure you be with him all the time because you can't leave him. Now the parents were also charged with reckless endangerment and risk of injury to a child. That's because police say the day this happened, the two actually left their two children home alone in order to drive LaToya to work. Uh, Dusan allegedly told police it's something they often do if the little boys were sleeping. But LaToya, she told police that day they actually brought them with them. But police say the surveillance video told another story. The two will be back in court later this month. We're live with the Mobile Newsroom in West Haven. Matt McFarland, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.